Hiya, back again with another hot sauce review and today we've got the second sauce that uh, came in the package from Dale at the Blunt Sessions channel and today this one is the Blueberry Milk Barbecue Sauce and uh, it sends us through the big long list of ingredients that he's got in the sauce. Are you going to read it out? Yeah, we'll do. They are chocolate to Trinidad scorpion peppers, chocolate seven pot peppers, bell peppers, apples, plums, blueberries, blueberry juice, pomegranate juice, ketchup, brown sugar, caramelised onion, fresh garlic, coconut milk, dark chocolate, vinegar, water, Irish whiskey, Dijon mustard, hickory flavour, blackstrap molasses, paprika, kosher salt, crab black pepper, dried oregano, dried basil, red cayenne powder and lime juice. I think we've got our five and eight there. Yeah. <laughs> now when we did the, the last sauce using the uh, chocolate Trinidad scorpion peppers and the chocolate seven pots, it got some real poke hmm. to it, hasn't it? Um, it seems yeah. that, sorry, go on. Sorry, the memory seems right. Seems more ingredients than this one. Yes, I think the 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 maybe um, there was a, a lot of ingredients that was in the last one. We struggled a little bit to pick up some of the ingredients, mm. didn't we? Because the predominant flavour was of the peppers. Uh, but I'm hoping we get some of the barbecue sauce element to this one. So we'll have a snifter. Excuse me. See, the smell of that, I don't know if you can remember a sauce that we did from Brian at the Aeon uh, 38 channel. And it was uh, insane chocolate or oh, yeah, 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 chop, yeah. Uh, chop to the system, that was it. And that smells exactly like that. You get the peppers and, uh, and all the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I have a feeling it's going to be as cheeky as the last one as well. Yeah, there's a bit more, bit more on the nose to that one than the last one, definitely. If he's used the same mm. quantity of the peppers that that he adds in the in the last sauce, then uh, yeah, mm. it's going to carry some wallop. Can you remember yeah, the smells, chocolate to the system yeah, sauce that yeah, we did? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, very similar. It smells quite nice. That it smells like it's got a lot of different flavours, mm. more than more than the previous one. Spoon her off. Yep. Yeah. So I'll use spooner up. I'm just thinking what uh, the the black, seeds are that's black, in there. The cra black cracked pepper. To guess. It almost looks like uh, kiwi pepper seeds that's in it. Jesus Christ! Is it empty? It's been in the fridge, so it might take a, a little bit of shaking to get out. Brown sauce. Consistent. See, bit chocolate sauce. <laughs> well, I think when it is uh, at room temperature, it will be of a good pouring consistency. I'll take your. Uh... There you go. Oh. Is there anything else on the nose now? It's uh, it's poured out. Not really. It smells. It smells pretty much the same as mm. it was in the bottle. It does look like a chocolate dipping sauce. Yeah, it does. What you'd have in them little chip sticks. Go on, fill your boots, pal. I like thick sauces because I can use them in sandwiches and then a bit easier. Mm. I'm a thick member of staff, but that's another story. Mm. Yeah, it is a good consistency. I mean, it is like a, a ketchup consistency, but like I say, I've, I've had it in the fridge and uh, not left it long enough to at room temperature to be uh, to be pourable. And it has dropped a bit cold, hasn't it? Mmm. <laughs> With all the amount of ingredients that's that's um, that's in it, to be honest, it's hard to pull a lot of flavours out. Mm. Can't we'll smell the peppers so much. <clears throat> no. We'll see what we get on the taste. So we're ready. Yep. We'll chuck it in. <laughs> Three, so two, to one. Back of the hatch, down the hatch even. Mm. Taste the molasses. Mm. Taste the chocolate. That's going to be a creeper. Mm. To start off with, I was waiting for the real <clears throat> burst, oh. burst of heat. Yeah, it's there it's now. quite tasty. Mm. It is very tasty. It's a bit of a burn straight away. <clears throat> Well, from what I remember of the of the last sauce, <coughs> there was an instant burn, and what I got first was it was the flavour more than anything else. Yeah. 
a real lovely sweetness to it. And I don't actually think it's as hot as the, the previous sauce. No, I don't think it no. is, no. <clears throat> I think the ratio of, of peppers to other ingredients is a lot less than this. And to be, to be honest, I'm thankful for it because I can taste a lot of other <coughs> ingredients in, that's in it. Mm. It's, a, it's a really good burn. It's got the back of my throat. Mm. I think that's probably due to the thickness of the of the sauce that it took a bit to creep down. Mm. It's got your top lip, hasn't it, si? My, yeah, hole yeah. hole inside of my mouth burning. It's not ridiculous though, no, is it? No, no, it's it's not that hot. Yeah. No, but it's a nice burn. But it's probably the the upper edge of heat uh, <clears throat> that you would like to use. Well, personally, I'd like to use as a, as a condiment sauce. Everybody's different. You might, you know, want it hotter than that. Um, but I, I'd like it just on that heat level, so I can pull out all the other flavours and as an ingredients. Oh, yeah. I mean. Like you say, it's definitely not as hot as the previous one, mm. which we did think it would be on par to begin with when, yeah. we, yeah. when we discussed the, 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 pre, the, the week after the video. But that would go suit more so with pork, I think, just drifting off to ingredient wise. Flavours I'm getting, I'm definitely getting the chocolate. Mm. Um, there's a good balance of flavours, there's not. Uh, an over uh, amount of salt in it, which I'm, I'm quite pleased about. To me, it, it's a good balance. Mm. It's a good balance of heat, um, the different flavours. If I'm honest and I'm looking down at the ingredients list, um, I'm looking down to think what I can actually taste. And there's there's, there's some things that, they, there must be an amalgamation for me to enjoy the sauce, but I can't pick out some of the yeah, you the, know, the you, you don't get sort of the alcohol out of the whiskey, which I'm, but I no. imagine that's a bit in for a bit of a preservative. Yeah, coconut milk. Well, I just don't do coconut milk, but I can't taste that, so that's all right. I mean, maybe like the sweetness of the caramelised onions and everything else mm. helps to blend together to make a, a an all round nice rounded sauce. What it is. Um, it's a bit different to your to your average barbecue, even spicy barbecue yeah. sauce, isn't it? Definitely. I quite like it. Yeah. yeah. And, and for a, a homemade product, which it is, mm. which Dale's made himself from his peppers as well, his homegrown peppers, I'd be really pleased if I made that. So yeah. well done, Dale. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very good. Thanks. So there you go. That's um, blueberry milk barbecue sauce. Now I'll leave a link to Dale's channel, the Blunt Sessions channel. Uh, does really good in depth reviews. So I highly recommend that you go and see his channel. Uh, go and check it out. So there you go. That's blueberry milk from Dale at the Blunt Sessions channel. Yes. So thanks again for watching another video and we'll see you all again in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.